Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So, early morning January, just put another pallet of honey up on my trailer. Last night I moved around uh, some of the wool. Looks like we've got a little bit more here. So I'm going to get that moved. Alright, so at this point we've got one, two, three, four... And then starting the fifth row, they're five deep here, so that's basically, uh, once I get the five rows, I'm going to have 25,000 plus the four will give me my 29. So I basically need 3,000, oh no, they're four deep on some of these. Let me fix that. All right, so yeah, we're five deep now, so we've got 25,000, so I need 4,000 more liters. Obviously, we're starting the next batch. So I think we'll be good. And then here, we've got 9,200. We need 10,000, so we need two more pallets of honey. And then we'll have enough. So let's take a look at where we stand. So I'm finishing level 15. If you're new to the series, you're joining it here at this point. Don't feel like you can't do that. Don't feel like you're going to be lost. Basically, this series is based around the VIP order manager. It's an, a mod that I really, really enjoy and likely, I think, may use in every single player series I, I utilize unless I'm doing something specific like a, a different kind of challenge. But if I'm just running a Let's Play and just playing a farm, I think this is a great way to do it because it gives you goals to strive for. So everything in green I've completed. So the raisins and the cheese order I'm done with. I need 69,000 liters of canola. I need another 10,000 liters of lettuce, because you can see that second column is what I've already done. So I've provided 18,000 liters. Uh, so I need that, and then I need that 10,000 liters of honey. Once we do that, we then will get that 188,000 plus pounds of bonus payout. All right, so if we head over here to the greenhouses, We've got 1,500 liters per, so yeah, three pallets of each, so we have 4,500 of the 10,000 we're looking for, so we're getting close, so it might happen today. So now I've got a couple things growing. I've got canola on these fields, and I've got oats over here. You can see these are in the state of getting very close. They should be ready for harvest tomorrow. But we've got the oats that just finished planting yesterday. And so those oats are used here. They're also potentially for any straw we need, although we have quite a bit of straw generated. Obviously, once we're done with the lettuce, we're going to reassign the greenhouses to do strawberries. This is likely going to be the biggest challenge. Talked about wool. We should have enough planks ready to go and uh, I can go ahead and cut down more trees to get wood for the next time I'm there. But we're likely going to be waiting quite a while for the strawberries, so we should have plenty of time to get the woodwork done. Um, I don't do that tr per traditional logging. It's not something I terribly enjoy, so I uh, explain that when I get to that of, of kind of how I do it because the focus of this series is really moving through the VIP orders. So the last piece of housekeeping, again, if you are new, my goal is to try to get through level 20 and then make a decision on what is going to happen after that as far as any tr further movement into uh, continue playing in Riverview or if we do something new. So certainly, if you've got any input, feel free to provide it. I'm always willing to listen. But you know what, I th what I'm planning to do is just move to another map and kind of continue the story there, starting over with a new set of VIPs. But what this means at this point is I'm waiting for the canola, which again will be ready tomorrow. Now I do have 36,000 already in storage, so to get to say 70,000 and I need basically another 35,000 off those fields which should be possible 
I'm going to have to run over here and verify. We are fully fertilized because I made that mistake before. But, you know, we've got all of this getting ready to go. So typically I get about eight to 10,000 off of each field here. So again, needing 35 might be close, but I'm hoping I'm not going to have a problem. Obviously if I do, we're then going to be waiting quite a while because I'm going to have to replant canola somewhere and go from there. All right, so we've gone ahead, made it to another day. We've got 78 liters of honey here. This will be our final pallet where you're now 2,000 liters, so I've got 6,000 liters of lettuce, but most importantly, my canola is ready. So I am going to go ahead and start doing that work with the hope that by the time I'm done, I have enough honey. I probably won't have enough lettuce, but we'll see how everything goes. So I had left the harvester here simply because I knew I'd need it right there. So instead of pulling it all the way into the yard, although lately I've been kind of leaving it there because regardless of where I need to go, the fields up on the farm are all grass fields that are used for hay and any of those needs that I have. So should be okay here, but getting going a little bit early just because I don't want to run into a situation where I'm waiting. So one of the benefits I've had is I've taken out all the trees between the fields, at least north-south. With the wood I need, um, the next target's going to be those in between the fields there and probably the ones around here at the edge. Kind of the just clearing things out as the VIPs need wood. But I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cut across probably a couple headlands here but we will get this canola off this field and more importantly again the goal is to get to 69,000 at least obviously we're going to harvest everything off so I am not playing with uh, seasons I don't play with uh, several other things crop destruction weeds Again, the focus is let us get going uh, as opposed to as much realism as possible. The goal is get those VIPs what they need because there's plenty of work to do. As you can tell, we're on uh, over 60 episodes so far and we're still sitting here, I think, at level 15. So it's not as if they're not keeping us busy enough even without those constraints. So, get over here. But then the hope is that I can um, easily kind of go up and down. So I am going to go ahead and set my GPS going across here, and then we'll obviously flip it later. Now we're going to set the line but again, the header ends up, the auto width is too big. So I've made the adjustments I need to make so that we'll be all set once we're ready to go. Get the line flipped down. Again, the zero line will be back where I set it. So looks like this is at that edge of the field, but kind of need it to be, you know, at another edge. But maybe what I'll do, I'm not sure which way I want to go. I think the last time, like when I planted these fields, I went ahead and, and kind of went up and down. Or maybe when I harvested them last time, I don't remember exactly. But, yeah, we'll go here and go over, because it's just going to be easier to drive around. While I don't have crop destruction on, for example... I um, think it's cleaner to uh, go ahead and what I'll do is once I get clear of the building I'll set my line there. You know, don't want to waste time going down here. Although I suppose we'll be doing it 
somewhat anyway, because if it doesn't line up exactly, we'll have to go back here. But I'm going to get it set on the left side there. Obviously then go around the, the headland at the bottom as well to give myself some room to maneuver. And then we'll just kind of cut across. But even though I don't have crop destruction, what I was starting to say is I still don't want to just willy-nilly drive through fields and so forth. So the cleaner way to run this would certainly be to just cut away from the road so that as I bring the cart in and I have to run it back up to the silo, um, we can do that. And I may or may not run things to the silo because obviously I need to, to fill the order. So let me see here. Let's get this set. So I think we're all set there. That puts me on the edge of the field. And then we'll have a straight line there. And then we'll be able to run back once we go around. We'll see if we can make the headland cut all the way around the bottom. And then what I would do is just go there and come back like I did on top so that I have two widths, or close to two widths, down below. Definitely a interesting layout as far as it didn't plant over into that spot. Uh, I thought that was what was going to happen. So we'll come back. Waste not, want not, right? So we're going to go ahead and grab the few liters we've got here and then tuck ourselves back in. Hopefully, a uh, little bit of a mess there, but this should clean up now. As I go through, there we go. And then obviously as we get down, we'll worry about turning appropriately and running down the edge of the field so that it gives me enough room to maneuver, especially with these trees. And again, this might be a set of trees that I choose to eliminate. Because 42,000 liters of wood is not a little bit of wood. So got to be aware of that, that's for sure. Canola isn't, frankly, harvesting a whole lot. Can't say I'm not getting a bit concerned about the throughput here, but we also technically haven't gone that far, so maybe we're all right. So yeah, the biggest challenge certainly uh, is as the orders go up, the demands increase, the bonus payouts go down a bit, but, you know, part of what I'm looking at, you know, I'll have to figure out what I do, because obviously if I continue on, you know, I'll have whatever fund funds I have here from the farm and so forth to move with, and obviously at 3.2 million pounds, we're doing quite well, so... The VIPs have served us well, but we've also served them quite well. You know, 15 levels of servicing their needs, or, you know, 14, I suppose, that are completed. There's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, we've been, we've been earning our money. Obviously, they're not paying bonuses they don't feel they can afford. So whatever they're doing with these things they're ordering from us, I need to assume that they are making more than the bonus payout by far than we're providing them. So just like any uh, supply chain arrangement, it doesn't necessarily matter what, what they're choosing to do or what their profit is. We're focused on where we're at. So at this point, obviously you know what I'm trying to do. You've got a good view here. Uh, you know, the harvester only goes up to like 9,300 before it's full. So we're going to be able to get this other headland done. But I have got some time here this morning to sit here and play with my canola. So I am going to do that. And I am going to start running things over to fill that order as well. So my plan will be to fill the trailer and take the trailer down because I need basically one full trailer and a partial. The trailer I have 
handles 40,000 liters. I'm going to do that because it makes little sense to go ahead and take things back to the silo and then uh, you know unload them and bring them down. So we'll take this canola first and sell it and if we have extra it'll end up in the silo. But I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will return when it is time to get that last load of canola over and we'll join back up then. So I'll see you in a bit. Getting ready to finish up this field. So I've run one trailer over. It has to go to the oil mill. So the nice thing too has been, you know, we've gotten the 40,000, but we need canola oil down here in level 18. So I've turned on my oil mill because I own that from an earlier need in the VIP order where we had to create sunflower oil. So I'm taking that canola I'm dropping off and not getting any cash for because it's going into my oil mill. Um, but at least starting to get that produced. But, you know, again, we'll get the VIP payout for it, which is always a, still a nice thing. So let's see if we've got that about lined up. I think we're good. So I think we have 10 or 13,000 over there. In the hopper, we need 29,000 total. I've got the limiter set, so we'll be able to get whatever we need out of the silo and not have to worry about it and take it down to the oil mill. But wanted to get back on with you and let you enjoy the end here. So I've definitely been spending time thinking about what's next because I'm hoping, I mean, we should certainly be closer to what's next than the beginning of this series. So I don't anticipate another 60 episodes or something before we're done here. And it still comes down to, do I just see level 20 or do I complete the work of level 20 because obviously say you know the canola is out there at um, you know level 18 once I finish this level that we've got that this is for we're going to see level 19 exposed so you know one more level of orders completed like once we get level 7 16 done we'll see level 20 and then we'll kind of have what we want and then it'll be interesting to see the other levels I mean so that's the thing to like keep going might just be worth seeing all the craziness that would be involved but I'm thinking you the audience and uh, I know if I can speak for myself me the farmer or you know me your channel host um, I'm getting to the point where I, I would be ready for something new so I'm uh, you know, thinking that, that that will be what we'll do. But overall, I'm thinking there's another thing I'd like some comments on, and that is, for those who have followed along, is this good? A good length? Should this be our target each time getting this far into the VIP orders? Or do we maybe cut it off at half that and say we're going to do through level 10 and then we move on you know I'd have to go back and look and see what that all looked like for me uh, and how long that took but that might only be 20 or 30 episodes depending on how things go so I don't know you know and, and maybe it's something in between maybe we go like we are now like level 15 would be a good cutoff and obviously if we don't go all the way to level 20, we won't know that because I think I would anticipate within um, probably no more than 10 more episodes, we're probably going to be done with level 16. And so if we're just doing the, hey, we just need to see to level 20, but more importantly, if in the future we just said we're getting to level uh, 16, you know, not even done with it, but we're just getting through it. Uh, you know, you'll. that's kind of what we're seeing here is it's 60 episodes or so, which is pretty long. I mean, most series 
don't go that far, and I so I just don't know. Is that too much? Is that you know because especially for a weekly series like this is, um, does it become having o over a year on this farm? in real time is that just uh, too much. That's partially why I was looking at maybe 10 because if I cut it in half and say you know six months maybe that makes sense. I don't know. So love to hear what your thoughts are on that. Alright so oh I thought I had 13 but I guess I didn't. Wait did I empty the harvester? I may not have. I may have just driven it over. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I guess we'll go by and we'll see. If I did, I'm sure some of you have been were screaming at the screen like, What are you doing? You're taking the canola with you. No, I think it's empty. I mean, I guess the only way to make sure... Yeah, it's empty. Okay. I don't know why I thought I had already dropped another 9,000 over there, but... So yeah, I had like 6,000 left over from the first pass, because when I filled myself to 40, that's where it got me to. But we'll go up here, again, top ourselves out to 29,000, and we'll head on down. But yeah, there's um, there's a bunch of maps that, that have been coming out lately that seem interesting, so that's partially a bit of my question because just really with the dynamics of everything that's happened and how things have shifted on the channel so part of what's been going on that's gotten me thinking about this was the fact that uh, generational farming was the way that I was exploring some different maps and obviously the situation there we weren't in control of which map we went to and that was fine. There was a bit of kind of excitement from that, like, hey, where are we, we going to go? It was a little bit like spin the wheel and see where in the world we end up. Uh, but now that I've decided to step away from FSN, that has dried up. So the question becomes, how do I fill that on the channel and in my gameplay because I, I certainly was enjoying that. Now I will say obviously we were on for quite a long time on all of those but we were it was like three months and so that's somewhat I guess a little bit of the question is there's multiple ways this can be attacked like I can certainly say hey we're getting to this level I could also simply say we're going to keep a series going for three months, which, you know, I'd, I'd figure out what that would be. But, the, you know, the thing is, three months, I think, is on, that's only going to be 12 or 15 episodes. I don't know that there's enough going on there to do that. So three months seems short. Um, you know, I, the sweet spot seems to be, you know, so let's say we... we I'll come to the consensus, the people who comment and so forth, and say, yeah, you know, in six months I'm kind of ready to see something different. I'm ready to see you move on to somewhere else for your single-player stuff. You know, there, there's still a way we can do that where we can set a target and it's roughly six months where we figure out, you know, hey, it's going to take us, uh, you know, 10 levels to get that far or 15 levels to get that much content. Or we just simply say, hey, it's six months, and we go however far we get, and that is what, what we're looking at. And, you know, the VIP order then is just giving us a purpose again of what we're doing on the map as opposed to just randomly trying to figure out the path. So there we go, three green, two yellow. So let me go over here. When I turned around from the 40,000, the turning radius uh, is not big enough. I ended up hitting the fence and I had to back up. So I'll go around the building because in the past I had gone all the way around, but that didn't work really well. So yeah, if I look here on the canola, we've already produced 313 liters of canola oil. 
So the trick is, again, we need 13,000 liters. I'm pretty bad at monitoring my productions well enough that I stop things then, but that's really what I should be doing with the VIP orders because, you know, I might not need that and I might need other things later, but the argument sometimes has been, well, it's kind of no harm, no foul if I go over and consume everything I've put in because it's not as if I need it somewhere else and it's not as if I can output that canola, the raw canola back and go ahead and redistribute it somewhere else. Like once it's there in the factory, it's stuck in the factory. And the only way to get it out is canola oil. So, but basically 26,000 liters will get me what I need. You know, all the rest of that would be overkill for what I'm looking for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the farm and now that we're getting into kind of mid-afternoon, we'll see where things stand. So I'll see you in a bit. And go ahead and put this back under this large overhead roof. That's where I had it parked before. Let's wander over here to the bees. Doesn't look like we're anywhere near. Wow, we only have 99. I don't know if there's less output in winter, I think to some degree there is, because like we don't see all the bees flying. Like normally in the middle of the day like this, there'd be buzzing and everything else going on, but it seems they slow down in the winter, which certainly makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend some of the rest of the time today going ahead and getting, um, well, I don't have another trailer. I was gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and get the lettuce loaded but actually I can't do that but I can get some things out certainly so that we know what we've got. So I suppose let me do that because at this point I don't have another flatbed trailer to load things on. I forgot about that. Alright so I went ahead and stayed up through the night set an alarm to get up so I'm at 243 liters of honey so I still have more to produce but the greenhouses are done with the lettuce. So I've got 10,000 liters of lettuce. So I've switched all the greenhouses over to strawberries now. So they are growing away so that we can start on our next set of VIP orders, which is the massive 113,000 liters of strawberries. So we're good here. But at this point, we need to get to our honey. So I'm going to set my alarm. I, mean, I probably can sleep in because the bees are producing pretty slowly. But it is March, so maybe they'll start to wake up. So maybe I'll get up around 5 and see what we've got. So I actually decided, before I ran to bed, I went and took a look at the sheep and realized they've run out of food. And all the focus I've had on other things, I knew they were getting close. But, obviously, we don't want to then be waiting an exceptionally long amount of time. Now, once again, let's keep in mind the reality we're going to have. 113,000 liters of strawberries are what we're going to be waiting for. It's not going to be the last three or 4,000 liters of wool. But still, I'd rather be done than not done. And uh, we've got the hay, so... We'll go ahead and get that in here, and then they'll start producing. So you can see we've got another thousand liters, so we're we're getting down to the last little bit that we need. I moved the tractor over from the honey wagon, so I'll go move that back. But yeah, I think I was down to like five thousand liters. Maybe it was 500, because 5,000 should have probably lasted a while, but we've only gone, I think, two or three months here. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a little more shut-eye, and we'll come back and see where things stand and when the honey's ready. All right, so the good news is, 8.45, you can hear there's a lot of bees, and there's a full pallet of honey, which is the most important thing. So I'm going to get this over here. 
Let's see, they haven't produced any extra yet, so I think we just got what we needed. And there's our 10,000 of honey, so that is great. We're not really producing any more wool yet. Well, I take that back. We are, it just has not popped out yet, so we're getting close. All right, so the honey needs to go to the cereal factory. And once again, then we're going to need to start making cereal next time, so we're going to have to take a look at all that. But we'll start worrying about that when we have things. But let's uh, run over there, and then we'll take a look at the cereal factory production line and what we need, because I know we're still waiting for certain things. But this is a big milestone here. Because we're going to be able to do this. We already have strawberry pallets coming out overnight. So that's great. We've already got 3,000 liters of strawberries. So now we're down to 110,000 liters that we need. Really the biggest challenge with all those strawberries is going to be moving them. Because it only being able to move 18,000 liters per load. That's going to be... You know, um, seven, six or seven trailerfuls of strawberries that we're going to have to move on over. So we're definitely going to keep going on that as whoop as we're doing other things. Don't know what happened there. It isn't a multiplayer server, so I'm not lagging or anything. I'm just driving poorly. So the cereal factory is over by the church. That was the purchase we made a few episodes ago, just to get going, see what we needed. This is a big thing. So we're going to be able to get this done and be able to load up the lettuce. And that is where I'm going to wrap things up. But, you know, the important thing is we're going to be able to load up the lettuce and see... Uh, I hate that turn. It's always something with this but hopefully we can get there without too much more craziness because I'm definitely running into a time constraint where I'd like to get this done but I push this production pretty close so here we go so we're gonna take a look so we need honey we need raisins, we need oats, and we need corn. We don't have oats. Well, we have some oats, but I think, but we don't have corn. So, like, we don't have enough to really start um, with what we, what we have here. So there we go. So the honey begins. And obviously, unless we have a weird problem, it should make it. Weird problem being, you know, how sometimes it, like, doesn't take a liter or whatever. But now we're down to the 10,000 lettuce, and that'll be it. So let me get back to the farm, get this thing loaded up, and then we're coming up here to stews. And it's another big day on the farm, because we complete another set of VIP orders. Everything loaded. 10,000 liters. Wonderful spring morning. And we're going to get this over to Stu's and get things done. And the nice thing is, we're then going to be able to just pick up sometime today and probably get a few of the next level done. But that will be for our next episode. I've certainly got plenty of excitement in this one. Definitely. A lot accomplished, so after really getting stuck at one point, kind of between, I don't know if it was level 12 or level 13, but there was that one level. We were really just having a hard time making any progress. Um, things have started to come together pretty well for the farm here, I'll tell you that. So... Kind of go around, kind of part of the horseshoe, get over. Like I said, that those buildings over there, that tower that we can see, that's stews over there, but we it's a tricky way to get there. You gotta go around and 
cross over because it's an island in the middle of the river there and obviously it's a little bit more difficult to get to. So we're going to go by our cereal factory and we're going to worry about that cereal factory more tomorrow because certainly I think what I want to do too is try to figure out what my raisin situation is. Alright, so just anticipation is, is uh, killing me here. I mean, just speechless. I don't know what to tell you. You guys are probably like, did he fall asleep? I did not, but um, just try not to make any mistakes. As I said, I'm, I'm tight on time. I've had to fix a few things here and there where I had made some mistakes. But here we go, we go around, because it's pallets, it's on the other side of stews, but at this point, like, we are good. Uh, besides from that, I was trying to turn and try to see the little tower. I can't see it, so maybe the tower is somewhere else, I don't know. I thought it was there, but it must be something different. So let's hope everything works, otherwise we're going to have to go create more lettuce, which would just be irritating. But we should get 118,000 plus pounds here. There we go. 188,700. Not a great way to see it. There we go on the building. And now we've got five things for level 16, but the most important thing was level 19 look like. Whoa, that's a big one. 464,000 liters of slurry. That can be a challenge. But we've got cheese, milk, tomatoes, so more greenhouses, and some more planks, which is good because I think I've got extra planks, but even if I don't, I'm delivering this wood to the sawmill. I'm deliver so we've got lots of wood going to the sawmill. Like we'll be able to make the planks. So I think we're okay. I mean I'm not freaking out yet. Like oh goodness we're not gonna be able to fit those fill those orders or anything. Because that's always the the danger and the challenge I've been worried about is that we're gonna hit something with a level and it's going to be such an onerous group of orders that it's going to be like, I'm going to need 20 episodes to get this done or something. But other than the slurry, which could be interesting, because I, I think our tank is 8,000 for that. Um, so I'm going to be running slurry for a long, long time. Again, I can do that with some automation, which is better, but um, it still takes like an hour for every tank, so that's like three or four days worth of slurry running. But as long as the cows are doing things, so that's what I'm going to have to start figuring out. But the problem, too, is um, I can't deliver any of that slurry before I get to that level, or I don't get any credit for it. So that's a bit of the challenge of the VIP order manager. Like, we can stage things to some degree, so what we can do is make sure that we have enough slurry or we have our slurry maxed out for when we get there. So that'll be our target, because I'm guessing we might even have enough milk. But now the challenge is we need to create some cheese ahead of time. So it looks like... Our dairy operation is really being asked to be cranked up here. So we'll have to see what that looks like, but I'm going to remind everyone here as I sign off. Several decisions I'm asking from you. Uh, certainly feedback on, hey, is this series already getting long in the tooth? And you'd prefer I stop once we see level 20 versus I complete the orders of level 20. Because I, I can't say I wouldn't be very curious to see what all the way through level 24 looks like. You know, I, I, I don't want people to be like, all right, I'm kind of getting really, really sick of watching Riverview here. But, you know, I 
I did say in the beginning my target was get level 20 orders completed, meaning delivered and, and so forth, so that we'd see 21, 22, 23, and 24 here. Um, the other choice or discussion to be having over the next few episodes is you know, what do you guys think is the right length? What's interesting is, you know, again, has this gotten too long and would it be better to say, well, we're next series is going to go to level 10 or level 15, you know, we're targeting like six months to get them out, you know, so that therefore like 25 to 30 episodes, you know, what what's kind of the sweet spot that people would like to be like, yeah, let's move on to something new, start over on a new map with a new set of VIPs and, you know, just start working that and see some variety because once again with generational farming uh, now being a thing of the past since I've decided FSN is just not working out for me anymore. I, I want to kind of focus on what helps the channel with new maps and so forth because I think there will be some interest with folks if we are moving around so as far as growing the community and so forth I think having a lot of long-running series that don't that, that kind of stay in one place might not be the best way to do that and certainly I have interest in exploring and playing new maps periodically as well so with that I'm gonna leave you here and I will see you next time <laughs>